This is trial number five, about to uh, get underway. Field of nine, Ken Tippett on two, Barn Boogle Jack, Rodney Petroff on Soho Dillon and Lee Miles on Brody Bill. They're set and away, Brody Bill began fast as did Penny 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 and Penny Penny Penny's trying to hold out Brody Bill and Penny Penny Penny's going to drive through. At this stage, looks like it's going to hold out Brody Bill. They've had a good duel going to that first turn. Uh, the one out deeper making it to a line of three was Total Energy. He couldn't get across either and dropping him behind the pegs. Behind the leader was Barn Boogle Jack. For Kenny Tippett is moving into the 1-1 one, one now was Total Energy as Penny 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 had no intentions of ever handing up the lead and Brody Bill still at it at the moment. They're going hard, these two up in front. Certainly setting up a good tempo. Total Energy third, fourth Barn Boogle Jack. Fifth placing came Evan Lee, uh, about 15 metres away to, to uh, Barn Boogle. Oh, there's two number twos out there. Okay. Barn Boogle Jack, and I'm going to have to work out who's who now. Um, and uh, then we've got uh, back in the field. So Rodney Petroff, what have you uh, got? Uh, you're driving Soho Dillon. So Soho Dillon, who's got number two on. It's actually, it should be number three. And we'll work that one out. Uh, John Caldo's uh, in the running line with uh, Croaks Moreau. And uh, back there was Zach Phillips with D-Town Hero. And at the tail of the field was Glenferry Arch. 45.9 the lead time, first quarter 32, and Penny 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 in front from Van Boogle Jack second, and third total energy drop to the pegs. Brody Bill's been facing the breeze from the outset, and in a one out one back trail came Evan Lee. Uh, Rodney Petrov, and uh, they've got the wrong number with Soho Dillon, it should be number three, but it's number two. It's four back to pegs as Brody Bill. Uh, has been taken out wide, not sure what's happened there. He might be choking down or he just uh, called it a night. Uh, Brody Bill, he might have choked down because he's dropping right out from uh, D-Town Hero. And back at the field came Croaks Moreau and with it was Glenfrey Arch. 32.1 the second quarter, so 32 the first quarter and 32-1 the second, so 64.1. And the front runners, they head up towards the 400 metre mark was Penny Penny Penny. Coming at it again was Total Energy. He's had a couple of cracks for the lead. Running into it now was Soho Dillon. And Barn Boogle Jack still awaits the sprint lane. They've broken clear from Evan Lee. And then followed by Glenfrey Arch. As they come up towards the turn, 30.9 the third quarter. Penny, Penny, Penny being tackled by Soho Dillon the outside. Soho Dillon hit the lead. Barn Boogle Jack back to the sprint lane. But it's Soho Dillon coming away to win by about... 12 metres on the line, maybe 10. Second spot was Glenfrey Arch. He continued to make ground from Barn Boogle Jack third. Penny, Penny, Penny fourth with Total Energy fifth. A gap then to Evan Lee, then followed by Croaks Moreau. Dropping right out of it was D Town Hero and Brody Bill, who called it a night at the 800. Last quarter 30.7, giving you a mile rate of 23.3. So 32 the first quarter, 32-1 the second, 30.9 the third and 30.7 the fourth. Mile rate of 23.3, 23.3 the mile rate. Last mile in 257, 257 the last mile. Last half in 61.5, 61.6 sorry, 61.6 was the last half. Gross time was 251.7, 251.7 the gross, mile rate of 23.3, mile rate of 23.3, last mile 257, last half 61.6, lead time was 45.9, 45.9, so it was a fast lead time, 32, 32.1, 30.9, 30.7, mile rate of 23.3, last mile 257, last half 61.6, the numbers, three Soho Dillon first, second number seven, which was Glenfrey Arch, third number two, Barn Boogle Jack, fourth number one, Penny Penny Penny, and fifth two, number five, which was Total Energy.